Hi, I'm Rachel and this is Luna Bird Book Club. Today is the third instalment of my Rachel's Reading Wrap-Up series where I talk about all the books that I read or buy or something like that in March. Um, the books that I'm carrying over reading-wise from February are the audiobook of A Memory of Light, the audiobook of Gideon the Ninth, uh, I'm also still reading The Letters of Vincent Van Gogh and The Odyssey, um, translated by Emily Wilson. Um, oh, and the, the book that I'm mainly reading at the moment, um, the first instalment of the Lacanian's trilogy, The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. I am um, a few chapters in that already. And at this moment in time, I'm not 100% sold on the characters. Um, but there's one character who has done something. He's not a main character. He's called Ilseth. And he has had a conversation with the main character. And I am very intrigued as to his motivations behind that conversation and some of the other things that he did in the following chapter. Um, so that is, I'm so interested to find out why he... Um, did what he did that that is what is inspiring me motivating me to read it is thursday the 7th of march which is world book day if you do not know and uh i work in a primary school <laughs> i work in the infants in a primary school as well the other grown-up in my class was going as gangster granny from the david williams novel and i instead of thinking of my own costume idea decided to go as ben who is the grandson of gangster granny so i am minimal effort but also big commitment um, so I've put some stripes on my top and a shed load of eyeliner on my face and I'm kind of dreading having to take this off, um, which I will do after this video. Um, anyway, I thought I'd catch you up on my reading. I haven't finished any books yet in March, but, um, well I haven't, the only book that I've been reading in March is The Shadow of What Was Lost and it is good guys! It's so fun! I'm really enjoying it. I'm about... 400 pages in out of 693 um so we're, we're, we're getting there I, th I i think i'm going to london this weekend and i will be on the train for about two hours so i'm thinking that i should get it finished this weekend which is fun exciting I haven't actually made any progress on the odyssey in march yet because i've been focusing on the shadow of what was lost which i'm really enjoying so that's good um and then my back burners, so haven't read any Vincent, surprisingly. I've listened to one chapter of Wheel of Time, Memory of Light, and um, I've just started the second act of Gideon the Ninth, um, which is, it's a different experience listening to it. Um, but yeah, those are both going, at least somewhat, so that's good. And yeah i'll see you hopefully sometime this weekend well for me not for you i'm seeing you on the first friday saturday in april it is monday the 11th of march and today i finished the shadow of what was lost by james islington i don't have to look at the book anymore to tell you what the title is because i finished it and i loved it so much there was never a moment where i was like i don't want to read at the moment i always wanted to be reading it and there were times when i couldn't be reading it just bent the cover and I, I it made me stressed that I couldn't be reading it um it was so fun start to finish I never knew what was coming next but in in a really good way like it wasn't like a well this book is so random you never know what's going to happen it was a uh, so much stuff is happening you cannot prepare in advance for it at all um I had great fun speculating and theorizing about um, the reasons that things happened or like people's actual motivations and sometimes I was right and sometimes I was wrong but whatever the case it, it was great fun I am really excited to read the next one um my friend and I that I'm buddy reading with um we were originally planning to do this then April would be um Words of Radiance and then May would be the next one of this but we're moving on to the next one of this straight away well he's reading The Sunlit Man and I'm finishing off the Odyssey because otherwise I will not finish the Odyssey um but yeah it was so good I cannot wait to see what happens next in the sequel if you're a fan of fantasy and you haven't read this yet I would 100% recommend it it was it was it was great and then come back and tell me your thoughts on it um 
I am doing a read-along video of this, so if you want to know more of my thoughts and those speculations and theories I was talking about, um, you can check that out on our channel already. And yeah, I guess I have to put this on my shelf now. Uh, five stars! I'm coming out and saying it. I had a, I had a great time reading it. Super duper. It is the 16th of March, right? Mm-hmm. Thanks, Rob. I, it's filming day, so I have a lovely background behind me because I'm in Kathy's house and on my way here, I stopped at the library and I finally managed to pick up a copy of An Echo of Things to Come. Yeah, that is what it's called. I thought I'd read the name of the third one then for a second. This is the second book in the Lacanius trilogy by James Islington and my friend and I will be starting this on Monday, which is the 18th of March and boy, is it a big one. Um, it's, let's see how many pages it is. 729 pages, but that is a glossary of names, which is quite exciting. Um, 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 and the book is... No, that's the author's acknowledgements. The book is 716 pages long! It is 19 page... No, it is 23 pages longer than book one. Um, so hopefully uh, you can see more thoughts about this very soon. Bye! It is the 27th of March. I have just got back from... Um, rehearsals for a play that I'm in. I'm in a production of Midsummer Night's Dream um, in a couple of months. Um, and do you know what? I am. It's my last day at work tomorrow before the Easter holidays and I am really ready for a break. Um, I stayed in the car a little bit longer when I got home because I was on the last chapter of Gideon the Ninth and I finished it. Um, it was great. I really enjoyed reading it when I first read it and I really enjoyed listening to it when I first listened to it, which was this time. Um, it is just very funny. Um, I think the, the comedic writing in it is superb. I really like it. Um, and it was such a different experience reading it, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I was really invested in all the characters again and now I'm really looking forward to reading Harold the Ninth. Um, I'm not sure when that will be, but I was li listening to Gideon the Ninth, so I was very aware of what had happened beforehand. Um, yeah, if you haven't read Gideon the Ninth and you like um, sci-fi, fantasy, magic-y type things... Um, I couldn't recommend it highly enough. It is so good. Um, there's an element of mystery there. It's great. And I think um, rereading it, I can see all the all the little cookies, all the foreshadowing and things like that. And it was just, it was nice. It's the 31st of March. It's probably about quarter past 12. No, it's not. Quarter to 12. And I've just finished Echo of Things to Come. Um, I enjoyed it. I think the first book is definitely stronger. This felt a bit forced at times. And I don't know if that's maybe to <laughs> labour home the the whole thing that they're fighting fate or something. Or if it was just um, trying to get all the gears in place for book three. I'm not sure, but I did enjoy it. I would say I would give it four stars and the end of the epilogue has just like exploded my brain. It's hot chocolate wall time. Um, March sure happened, didn't it? I can't drink this, it's so hot. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on my lap. Um, March, what's happened in March? I read two big fantasy books, Lacanius one and two. I finished Gideon the Ninth audiobook. I read one book of the Odyssey, because the Odyssey is in books, not chapters, um, which isn't a lot, but it's better than none. Do you know what I read none of? The Letters of Vincent van Gogh. And because I was listening to Gideon the Ninth, I think I only listened to one chapter of Memory of Light. Um, so it's the reading that I have done. I haven't read any plays this month. Well, I should have done. But I did buy three. So when I was in London, I was looking for a copy of the second Lacanius book. Um, and my friends have quite a few bookshops near them and uh, none of the bookshops had a copy of the second Lucanius book. 
One of them had a copy of the third Lacanius book, but I didn't want to have to cart that all the way back home for no reason because I didn't need it for another couple of weeks. So I hope that's still there when I go down in April. Anyway, I bought three plays from a secondhand bookshop. I bought Flamingo Land by Deborah McAndrew. I bought, oh, this is two plays together, The Memory of Water and Five Kinds of Silence by Sheila Stevenson. Um, and I bought Adele Stripes, Black Teeth and a Brilliant Smile, adapted by Lisa Holdsworth. I can't remember what inspired me to pick these three, but I did, it was several weeks ago. Um, also, slight errata, is that how you say that word? I'm not sure. Um, I have been pronouncing the author of the Lacanius Trilogy's name completely wrong this whole time. It's not Islington, it's Islington. So my apologies to James. I know you're watching this video, James. Um, I'll never do that again. Books I'm carrying forward into April are Memory of Light and Vincent van Gogh, obviously. Still reading The Odyssey, but I think I'm going to be, I'm going to try and read a book a day of The Odyssey and just see how I get on. Um, books I'm planning to read, Lacanius number three, Harrow, um, Hungry Tide. I think that's it. I can't believe that it's been three months of 2024 and I still haven't finished a book that I featured on my TBR video. Um, yikes. <laughs> But you know what, I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I have read other books and I've enjoyed the books that I've read. So that's a positive, isn't it? That's it for this Rachel's Reading Wrap Up. Kathy's monthly vlog came out yesterday. So make sure you go and check that out if you haven't already and leave me a comment. Let me know what you've been reading in March. We release videos every Friday. So give us a subscribe and we'll see you then. <laughs>